robots that work for us. The promise of the electronic century. Only problem is, our dream machines, like this automatic vacuum cleaner, can't seem to do the job without bumping into things. Over the decades, banks of cameras and loads of expensive electronics haven't helped much. Robots still can't see where they're going. But now, through a partnership of Australian biologists and engineers, the solution is in sight. The answer has been too difficult, or rather too easy, for us to see. Most attempts have been to create robotic vision that's just like ours, with lots of detail. But not every pile of electronics needs eyes like these. Often, all they need is a bug's eye view. Insect eyes are much simpler than humans. No iris, no focus, and a compound eye that gives them a much coarser view of the world. Yet, they're expert navigators, avoiding obstacles and landing with pinpoint accuracy. It's like when you're driving. The objects by the roadside pass by very fast, while the scenery in the distance stays in just about the same position. The faster the image moves, the closer you know the object is. The slower the image, the further away. It's this principle of image motion that many insects use to navigate. And that's giving these serious toys insect-like vision. Electrical engineers at Adelaide University have turned the biological model for insect vision into a bug-eye computer chip. Here, the bug-eye chip on this stationary car can sense the passage of the overtaking car. And this is what's achieving it all. No bulky video equipment, no huge processes, just this tiny chip, plus this even tinier lens, together can see moving objects, tell you how far away they are, which direction they're going in, and at what speed. In fact, all the things that insect eyes can do. Just like the insect eye, the lens has no iris nor focus control. It simply directs light onto the chip's 60 photoreceptors. These light receptors correspond to a part of the insect's composite eye. More than 20,000 transistors process the constant flow of visual information as things move by the bug eye. So how do I play with this toy? Uh, just put your hand in front of it and see what happens. Okay. Ah! What is it? Uh, what this is is just a pen plotter, um, and we've mounted the bug eye on it so that it can move anywhere along the surface of this board, just to uh, show how it responds to the motion of your hand. So it's not my hand itself it's responding to, but the motion. That's right. And that's the principle of insect vision. Exactly. To see moving objects, the bug eye chip's 60 light receptors first establish the light and dark edges of an object. A moment later, if the boundaries have changed, the chip sees the object has moved. By repeating the process, the chip can work out how fast and in what direction an object is moving. Now, mount, say, half a dozen of these chips and lenses around a moving robot. The chip on the side sees objects passing fast. It knows they're close and should be avoided. The chip out front sees other objects staying still, so it knows they're distant and it can safely head that way. The robot is now navigating using image motion. Just like the racing car, just like the bee. Bug eyes on cars to protect us. The potential for this little chip is enormous. Factory assembly lines, maybe medical robots in hospitals, even visual aids for the blind. But whether we'll ever see that cleaner that does the vacuuming for us without scratching the furniture, for that, we'll just have to wait and see.